Hi everyone, Arvi Debs here. It's Sunday, the 20th of September, 2015, and it's moving. Time is a moving on. I um, let's see what time is it? It's about four o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday. I've been busy working on my truck, um, repacking things and getting things ready for the road. So I thought I'd take a break and go swimming. So before I go swimming, I thought I would put out a small video just to say hi to everybody wearing my bathing suit and um, oops yeah I look forward to my trip I really do it's um you know nerve-wracking a little bit but once I get going I'll be fine um, Monday I am going to get my nails done because look at that they grow so fast so I decided I'm gonna probably stay till Tuesday, but I'm not going to say when. I'm paid up till Wednesday. I won't be paying anymore, I'll tell you that much. But there's no, I don't have a time frame. I'm not in a hurry. I'm going to take my time. I don't think I've ever traveled taking my time. I always seem to have had goals in mind, drive from morning till the sunset, grab a hotel and food, and get up early in the morning, have your coffee, and, and then go, go, go. That's not how I'm going to do it. No, and I've never done it the way I'm going to do it, but I'm only going to drive as far as I feel like, like 200 miles, stop, go to a rest stop maybe when I'm starting to think about stopping and um, making sure the gas is topped off and uh, get online and uh, check out what RV park or campground is nearby. That's how I'm going to do it, and uh, hopefully be at a campground by about 3 in the afternoon so that I can enjoy where I'm at and take my time putting my levels down and you know plugging everything in I think I can do that no problem so uh, that's what's going on here I'm just kind of chilling out for a while and taking it easy because I know there's a lot of um, a lot ahead of me but I don't think there'll be any problems I've done all I can to you know get everything in tip-top shape and I love my truck and I love my RV my travel trailer uh, there's no problem there I'm comfortable everything has got a place now I've gotten rid of all extra stuff I've dumped stuff at the garbage I mean really I'm ready and um, I probably have about 25 percent as far as you know putting things together because I'm still living here and I'm going to make dinner tonight, you know, and that's how it's going to be. So I'm taking my time. You guys don't have to worry about that. I will be making my videos. Um, I will probably do a video of when I'm all ready to go, what it looks like when the slide's in. And, uh, you know, just everything kind of tucked. And I'm trying to make it easy as I can to, you know, when I do go to a... Um, a park or campground somewhere that I can just easily open the slide and pull some baskets out and be comfortable and so I think that'll be a good way to go and anybody out there that thinks because I have people that think oh no she's not gonna be able to do it we what what a mess she's gonna take pictures we're gonna hear her crying not on your life I am gonna be fine and if there is a problem that's challenging I certainly won't be making a video panicking. That would be pretty stupid. There's nothing going to happen anyway. And I've got triple A. Trip, I have a trip ticket from here to Texas. I have a trip ticket from the town in Texas to Padres Island. I do plan on attending the Camp Fest on Padres Island in 2016, January. Um, I have maps, I've got GPS, and I've got friends. What more do I need? I'm good. Do I wish I had someone with me? Well, yes, I wish I had my husband with me. I would do anything, anything to have my husband sharing this with me. But he's not here. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to carry on. Celebrate life. 
don't think about what you can't do, because that is no good. Think about what you can do. Think about how you can do it easier. Just think about things before you do them. Plan. And that's it. Uh, and the plans are like an hourly plan, really. I don't have plans that far ahead. I, I think I've got a bucket list. You know, I think everybody has. And one of my bucket lists is to see the Redwood Forest. I wish that my husband would have been able to see the Redwood Forest because that was on his bucket list. So he's going to have to go with me in spirit. And another thing, I really love Ashland, Oregon. I want to go back there. I was there years ago before I knew my husband with Kathy, and we loved it there. We fell in love with this really quaint Shakespearean, lots of theaters, lots of art, little town called Ashland, Oregon, and I will see it again. I might even spend a month or two at the RV park there. We'll see. Can't think that far ahead, but that's a goal. That's it. I'm so I'm thinking a lot. I'm I'm planning and dreaming and hoping everything's fine. And uh, thank you for your comments and all your love and good wishes. I appreciate it very much. Have a great rest of your Sunday. Talk to you all tomorrow.